Hey guys, welcome to the channel. This is PC Gamers UK here. I don't normally do tutorials, but I'm just stepping outside my comfort zone to make this video for you guys to show you how to get your VR headset connected into Unreal Engine 5. Okay guys, so as you can see straight away, I've already got my Oculus Home open, which we'll need for Unreal Engine to recognize that as setup is already connected and set up and working okay. You make sure your controllers and everything like that are working in your current VR. So I'm going to jump straight in and I'm just going to minimize this. And first of all, we need to launch Unreal Engine 5. This is Unreal Engine 5.0.3, which is the latest version. So please make sure you've got that up to date. As you can see here in my projects, I've already done a couple of MetaHumans um, where I've used mesh and did a 3D mapping of my face and then made a MetaHuman. But that is not why the tutorial is here today. But that's another project if you want to know how you actually set up. Um, the 3D mesh using software on Android. I may make a video on that if you leave me a comment down below. So straight away we want to go to the game section here within Unreal Engine and as you can see we've got virtual reality. So we're going to first click virtual reality. We'll name this project um, what should we name this? No spaces by the way. We'll name this project VR Test 2. and then click save. So I'm not touching anything. The VR is just open in the background. Unreal Engine is now opening. And straight away we're greeted with some form of a setup like VR, which we can, I'm just holding my right mouse button down here. Just have a look around. We can use my middle mouse wheel just to scroll in and out. And this is the basic setup that we're given with the light above cameras. If you look over here in the far left corner, we've got a VR spectator. And I believe that's if you want somebody else to view you within the VR section, they could be actually in that part looking down at you. So one of the key things before we jump into the VR is we need to come up here to the top. Just make sure it's picking my mouse up, which it is. And it says change play mode and play settings. So this is a must, otherwise you won't get the VR to connect to your Unreal Engine 5. So we need to come down and it says here, look, VR preview. So we tick this and straight away, this will open up. Now you can see it's acknowledged. We've even got sound coming through, but it sounds like it's coming through my speakers for some reason. But what we'll do is just make this a bigger screen. And then now I'm going to dive into the VR headset and just show you a few little things that I've messed about with and then I'll bring the tutorial to an end. Okay, so now we're in VR. As you can see, let's set this up correct. First of all, pick up two controllers. You should be able to see me on my screen as well. I obviously can't see. So we can use this left trigger here to just turn around. Um, I imagine we can change the inputs within VR. And the shadows and everything's working with the light above us, which I believe is just behind us there. And then we use his right thumbstick to teleport, get as close to the object so we can pick them up normal like in VR. And as you can see, everything's working straight away. We've not had to do anything. Yeah, we ain't got lasers coming out. We've got a few tennis balls, so we could do a juggling scenario. I can actually juggle. Let's see if I can get one straight on my head. No. Okay. So the graphics, physical, physics, everything is working straight off the bat, which I think is brilliant. So we're going to chuck them on there. I'll take one of these. So we can pick these boxes up, just like in, say, Boneworks or something. Everything, all the physics and everything works. I've not had to do anything other than the process that we've just gone through to get in here. So let me just spin around, teleport here. Pick one of these up, we can throw them, all the physics in game work, excellent, we can knock that off of there, we're at. 
it in my monitor. Okay, so as you can see, the physics and everything work brilliant. We've got a little ball here. We'll go over to that. Teleport here. Pick this one up. Two-handed. A little bit of a crap throw there. And then when we come into this room here, the sound is actually picked up. It's not actually in my headset. At least the microphone's working, so that's not a problem. We should be able to pick this up. And I mean, obviously we could change these controllers to hands within Unreal Engine. And one thing that I did actually mess about with was the lighting. So I believe, I've not checked that, but I don't think you can teleport in there. No, look, so no teleport zone. I imagine you can teleport to there and you can set that up so it's not going to let us go in there. You can set up zones where you can't enter um, when you're building a game or something. So we're going to come back outside here. I'm going to spin around. I mean, I could actually just spin around like this if I was in the middle of my room using these um, connections. They all, I don't know if you've got these set up at home. They're actually amazing. And when I get into the center of my living room, I can walk around and these pull on, pull on the wires so you've got free movement within the room. Okay, so I didn't want to jump back in here. Let's go back outside. Okay, so we're going to just jump back into the software and just try something with the lighting within this room, for example. So I'm going to take my headset back off now. Okay, so welcome back. Okay, so we're just going to... I have to do it this way just so I get access to my mouse again. And then we need to open up the actual project itself. So within the project, I noticed pretty much like with any in any of the Unreal Engine, I think I forgot my WAS and D, we couldn't have a good move around in here and I believe we can also use as um, gamepad if I need to move around a little bit slower because this is a little bit vicious but maybe we can also to alter those we could maybe alter the settings of the speed of the camera as well so we're just gonna have a little mess about with these lights in here just something very simple so we'll click the light at the back Obviously, if you've used Unreal, you know you can grab this axis, move it up and down, this one for left and right, etc. And I imagine we could right click and maybe duplicate this and put a few lights on the wall. But just for this um, example, we're going to change this light color. If you come down to light color, we've got, say, pink or blue, green, whatever uh, color you want within the wheel. So let's just have a green at the back. Click OK. We're just going to then click back in the room. Have a look around at this light. So we've got a green light here. We're going to then click on this light. We'll change the color of this one to say blue, which is fine. As you can see, all the lighting effects within the room have already changed, which is brilliant. But one thing we need to do up here is just click save the current level to disk. So when we save that like this, we should then be able to minimize this, then maximize our VR screen, it's not saved it, my error, lighting needs to be rebuilt, 16 unbuilt projects, okay, so we've worked every other time before, so we're just going to click save, and go back to his pro back to the VR, And there we go. I'm just going to jump straight back. Get his controllers. I think this one's dying on me. But just to come to the conclusion of this, we'll change this one to purple, the back one to green lit. And everything works as it should, guys. I can't wait to... Um, I need to get a bit closer because I'm touching my keyboard. Okay, so as you can see, all the physics work perfectly. I'm going to come out of this tutorial now. So, okay, little conclusion at the end. Um, this has been a short tutorial, hopefully not gone on too long. I will edit it a little bit out. If you want to see some more Unreal Stroke VR content, uh, you make a metahuman for argument's sake. I could put him up on the video, but 
I'm not going to go into that. That's for a separate video. So thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave some comments down below. See you in the next one.